Hey guys, JC here. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I've had a video up, and uh, sorry I'm not doing it outside. It's uh, it's kind of damp and muggy, and so we have a ton of mosquitoes. Um, I've been working on a couple different projects of things I wanted to show you guys, so here's uh, here's going to be one of them. It's not going to be a real long video, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. Alright. Got river cane here. So... If you don't know, a river cane, it's a species of bamboo, see, and uh, mainly what I've been working on is showing you guys uh, this, you can see the three different stages, this is completely dead, this is uh, pretty stinking close to dead, and this is a very fresh bamboo stick. Three different shades, we have basically completely uh, dried out drying and uh, still has a lot of moisture in there. Now, the beautiful thing about uh, being down here in uh, Texas is that we have a ton of this and you'll find you'll be able to find a, a river cane or some other species of bamboo in, uh, in most parts of the country. Um, so uh, definitely uh, definitely be looking for it and I, I have don't don't give me line because I don't know this for a fact. But I have heard that uh, that river cane and uh, bamboo you can actually buy um, you can actually buy sticks of it uh, at places like Lowe's and Home Depot. Mainly, you know, people buy it to uh, to hold their trees up and stuff. So it, it's possible you could you might be able to buy this. What I'm going to show you all today is how to make river cane arrows out of a couple of just the basic things that you're uh, you would have in your survival bag, or at least that I have in my survival bag. And uh, now you're not really going to see a whole lot of a difference in accuracy between these three arrows. I mainly just have them to show you the different stages, um, really for no other purpose than that. I personally like working with the dead ones myself. They're a little bit stiffer. I mean, I'm going to show you guys the difference. This is the uh, brand new, you know, very, very fresh, barely pushing, a lot of flexibility in that. That can be a little annoying. Right now, the arrow, it's actually, uh, it's very straight. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's very straight. This one's actually pretty stinging straight, too. Got a little bit more flex uh, in there, but uh, it's, not a, it's not nearly as able to just be bent and then stay bent. The moisture has completely gone out of it, so it, even, if it, even if you flex it, it doesn't want to stay in its newly flexed form. Uh, it wants to go back to its original original form. Whereas if it has moisture, it'll warp. As you you know, you hold it in a bent position for a while. I could now I could hold this in a bent position for a couple of hours, and it'll definitely start to have a warp to it. But that other one, the green one, a couple of minutes of that, 10, 15 minutes or so, and it's going to have a very strong warp. I can hold this for 10, 15 minutes, and there's not going to be anything. Now the downside about bamboo and river cane is that after a while it does start to split on you. I actually have one little, or a couple little splits right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you all. I don't know if you guys can see that. A couple little splits right here along the side. Um, you can kind of see just some splits going around. It's mainly just in that link right there. The rest of them are all pretty good. Um, now, this uh, this stuff, it's, uh, it's just awesome. Like I said, I love it for arrows and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something real quick. I completely forgot to grab this. Alright. I want to show you guys uh, an end result of, uh, of bamboo and what it can end up looking like. This is a bamboo arrow. As you can see, this is no longer being used. This is just a piece of metal that's uh, been grinded down. It's actually being held in there by tree sap. Uh, but you can see that's, that's split very bad. This arrow has seen a lot of use. Uh, probably have to uh, just replace that feather, but this, this, uh, this arrow will, event will basically just become uh, decorative now. It's, uh, it's not really got a whole lot more purpose for me. It's been used plenty of times. Um, I've never actually gotten anything with it, but I've never really hunted with this arrow either. Um, it always had a little bit more sentimental value to me, so I never really wanted to just 
use it for hunting in fear of losing it. It was always uh, used for target practice. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick today how to make these arrows. Um, and it's not going to be like that arrow. That's That takes a little bit more time and effort and it will last longer. But I've already gone ahead and done the knocks in there. Uh, just do it with your knife. Very simple. Just kind of work at it. I like to use the serrated edge to get it going. It makes it real easy. And once I've got the main part in there, I just kind of use the, the sharp end of the blade to actually just kind of get in there and dig out any little extra crap that might be in there. So, now. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm only going to bother making one of these arrows for you guys, uh, because the rest uh, is going is just going to be me showing you, me showing you uh, how I shoot them. Uh, so, we're going to make our fins with duct tape, and just to save us time, because a knife will be perfect on a tough surface, you lay this down and to cut the fin out correctly, a knife will work great, but to save a little bit of time, we're going to use scissors, so let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. do going to lay out probably didn't even need to go that long Any little strips Maybe about four inches or so I'm going to kind of lay them over each other get too wide there Whenever I say too wide, I mean I don't mean T O O wide. I mean T W O wide. You want two two pieces of duct tape wide. That's how you want this. It's not quite. They, they overlap about mid mid range or so. Mid. All right. Now this is a, a very quick quick process. Now since I'm going to be putting the string in, this is important. Where you got your knock. You want the fin to be working with the knock. You want one fin to be going up and one fin to be going down with that knock. So, I'm going to turn it sideways. I'm just going to lay it over like that. Very simple. Didn't really look straight to me. Lay it over. And lay it over. Very simple. So, just kind of flatten all that out. And it may not get perfect. On the other side, I got a little ridge right here, a little ridge right here. I don't really care. Like I said, this is a very quick and cheap way to do this. We're not trying to make this perfect. We're just trying to make it work. And it will. It absolutely will. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Like I said, knife will work great for this, but just to save time, we're going to go ahead and use scissors. Got extra on the back, very simple. Cut it. All right, there we go. Now I'm just gonna tear this little piece back off here. And there you go, got yourself a nice little fin. You can make that any size you want, you can narrow it a little bit, which I probably will. But I'm going to go ahead and make the others, and I'm going to show you guys how these shoot. Alright. Alright guys, here we are. We're outside now. Alright. I got my uh, three little fins. Now what I forgot to do was to show you guys real quick what I plan on doing for the, uh, for the tips. And uh, it's very simple, actually. I'm going to take my knife... I'm going to cut it to a little point there. Now that may not appear to be much, but that little sucker will stab into quite a bit. 
these little things can get mean. Uh, just give them a good little point on one end. Just kind of give it a little rough point. And that thing will stab something very quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys throwing or shooting real quick. The way y'all can see how effective these are. You see, I didn't need a big notch. Fit in there pretty, pretty well actually. So, make sure y'all can see that. If y'all were able to see that fly, it actually flew a little off course. Didn't stay exactly as I wanted it to. It wasn't too bad. That one flew a lot more like I wanted it to. Let's try this one. This is the biggest one. Let's see how this flies. That one flew terribly. See that? That green did not. That green did not bend well. Did not work well with the. Uh, I'll go ahead and back up. The green did not bend very well with the shooting. So that kind of tells you anything. The older it is, sturdier it is, the better. That, that third one maybe flew 20 feet, 30 maybe, and uh, that was all over the place. The uh, river cane, um, much better dried out, guys. It absolutely is. Now the, uh, you know, river cane uh, that flew out there pretty much went into the brush, and uh, I won't be able to find it. The fresher one, I will be able to. That one will be pretty stinking close, and I'll be able to recover that. But uh, anyway, that's just kind of a primitive way to make some arrows if you are uh, if you are in desperate need of something. And uh, I know that that doesn't help you if you do not have a bow. Now, like I have said before to people, I absolutely recommend getting a bow. Uh, I still have a lot of practice that I have to do with this one. And one thing I highly recommend is getting an arm guard. You guys can see, I think you can see that right here. The string hit me. That, uh, that string's pretty nasty. You want to get yourself an arm guard. It's just uh, basically just a piece of leather that sits about right here on your, on your arm, kind of straps around. And that way, whenever you release and it comes, even if it rubs, it'll hit that arm guard. And I, uh, I used to have one. It was just a little cheap one. Uh, but, man, <laughs> it's hit my arm a lot. Um, and I know that doesn't help. Like I said, if you guys do not have a bow, I know that doesn't help you. Uh, with, you know, if you obviously having, uh, having a bunch of arrows doesn't help you. But uh, and that's why I'm actually working on a uh, building a bow myself just out of some... Uh, out of some red oak so uh, whenever I get that done I'll go ahead and show you guys but if you have any questions comments concerns please let me know um, otherwise uh, it's been a you know video on how to make uh, some quick river cane arrows and uh, I'll get back down next time alright guys